Well, set your alarms early, step outside, and hope the clouds aren't around. Mars will be waiting. The red planet is at its closest position to Earth in 63,000 years. Joel Iwanaga on Mars Lookout tonight and has more on the Mars frenzy in Battleground, Washington. Joel? Well, good evening, Jeff. We are inside Sean's Astronomy Shop here in Battleground where professional and amateur astronomers alike have gathered to take a look at this really once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of visualizing the red planet. Take a look. The last time Mars was this close, Neanderthals roamed the Earth and it was doubtful they even saw anything. Still, astronomers say no telescope is needed. Binoculars will do just fine or even the naked eye. Mars will be the brightest object in the night sky besides the moon, of course. It'll be there for all to see through next month. The closest Mars will come to Earth will be at 2.51 a.m. in about three and a half hours or so. Astronomers say you really can't miss it as it glares its signature reddish-orange color. Mars, of course, is closer now. It's been in 60,000 years, and it's a time the public should be getting out to observe it. Uh, they won't get an opportunity like this again in their lifetime and especially look through large telescopes. Uh, most of the public will not go to where the telescopes are, so you've got to bring it to them in a sense. From a scientific perspective, there's really not a lot to be learned since there are already three, or excuse me, two spacecraft orbiting Mars and three more on the way. Uh, folks here in Battleground say this is just an event to be enjoyed. Now, more precisely, Mars will be exactly just a mere 34,646,418 miles away at its closest point just before 3 o'clock this morning. Now, Mike and Jeff, I don't know about you guys, but 3 o'clock, I'll be uh, snugly sound in my bed. But uh, don't fret, our trusty meteorologist, Dave Sweeney, let me borrow his Mars globe so I can just take a look at this uh, up close and uh, learning a lot about this Vastesis Borealis, whatever that is. But I didn't know Dave was such a, an amateur <laughs> astronomer, you know. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate that. You bet, Joel. And, and by the way, put the equator back on. I see it coming off Oh, yeah, there, yeah. What kind of a cheap sake, sticker is you're this? You're wrecking you know? it already, for Pete's sakes. <laughs> you know, I found this in the uh, weather lab, so I'll put it right back, I promise, Dave. Thank get the so sticker much. back on there like that. Oh, and and for those who think, oh, if I can't get up this morning, I mean, Mars is going to be there a while. Well, yeah, it's, it's not a, a one-night affair. You and can easily see it with the naked eye, but if you really want to get an up-close look, like he said, a telescope is perfect. Telescope is best. Mike and I were talking. Binoculars, you can do it, but it, they tend to be a little shaky on right. you. But anyway, I mean, it's, it's hard to miss. The big question becomes, oh, what about so the clouds? Yeah. Yeah.